Hello friends, it's me, Alora Burns, and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited that you're here, and if you happen to be here for the very first time, allow me to give to you my most heartfelt and sincere <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome to our community, uh, some might say of weirdos. Uh, and by some I mean me. <laughs> so, hi, uh, why are we here? Trunk Club. Okay, so I'm really excited about this trunk. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying on these pieces. Um, if you're not familiar with Trunk Club, it is a clothing style, style, clothing, whatever, subscription service where you are matched with the stylist and then you have a real relationship with them. They will curate a trunk based on your preferences. And you can, um, you have a dedicated chat window so you can like tell them, hey, this is what I'm interested in. Here's like photos of stuff that I like. Here's links to stuff on the Nordstrom website that I want you to include or like be inspired by. And then they'll type back so it's a real like actual relationship. And then they curate a trunk. You get a preview where you can go through and say, yes, send, yes, send, don't send this or send this in a different color or whatever. And then leave comments like, hey, don't send this because I have something really similar, um, so please replace it with, you know, something in this color or this completely different item that you didn't even know that I wanted or whatever. Um, and so that's really different from the other uh, subscription services because you don't really get to have that kind of back and forth relationship, um, like with Dia and Co um, and Stitch Fix and, and all the other ones. So I really appreciate that about Trunk Club. I think that it's so cool that you can really talk to your person and then, um, yeah, and then once you approve it, you have the option to add like a few accessories um, from this selection that they give you. And then they ship you your trunk. You try on all the things, you keep what you want, you send the rest back. UPS will pick it up from your doorstep. It's so great. Bug is here. Hi, Buggy. Um, yeah, and then that's it. So it costs uh, $25, I think, to be styled. Um, and then that. $25 goes towards the purchase of anything if you decide to keep something um, or if you're me and you have like purchased a certain amount <laughs> they don't charge you for a styling fee anymore so I don't get charged a styling fee anymore um, which is cool because then if I don't like anything I can send the whole trunk back and not be out any money but I don't know what that threshold is but y'all know I do this a lot so I, I have no idea if anybody knows the actual threshold to where you stop having to pay the styling fee put it in the comments so that we can all know um, because I don't actually know so I did want to say um, there have there has been a change to the way that the um, trunk club referral links work so I've always had a referral link it's in the description box if you want to try trunk club please use my link um, if that appeals to you and if not feel free to not use my link however they've added some new incentive for you to use somebody's link it doesn't have to be mine um, so before if you clicked on my link and ordered a trunk if you purchased something then I would get credit and now just use my link and you get $50 in credit you don't even like, the, it's, that's it. You don't have to do anything. So you could use the link, get a trunk, use your credit, and then, like, never do it again if you wanted to. Um, so it's kind of the same on my end. So I get credit if you buy something. Um, but I just think it's really cool. So nothing has changed on my end. But for you, I think that's so cool. Like, all you have to do now is use the link and you get $50 in credit, which is really awesome. Anyway, um... So yeah, I think that's it. I did give Kat, my stylist, some insight into what I was looking for. Um, I told her, you know, transitioning to warmer weather, like Houston's done with winter. It was literally 80 degrees yesterday and humid. We're gonna get a little bit of a cold front later this week, but I mean, we're done. We're like easing our way into the hot weather time of year now. So I was like, no more sweaters, no more, you know, like big heavy things like that, unfortunately, because I love them so much. Um, so I was like, yeah, you know, starting to transition. So any of those pieces that are lighter weight, less sleeve, or, you know, just like a thinner material. Um, I'm still in the puff sleeve thing. So any puff sleeves, I told her that I was really wanting to replace, well, replace. I used to have this mustard yellow um, handbag that I bought um, when I got like this really good job. I was excited. I was like, I'm going to buy myself. I've never bought an expensive purse before. And so I bought this beautiful purse and I used 
the crap out of it. I wore that thing into the ground. And so um, I've really been missing having a nice purse like that. I use the same bag every day, which I really like. But um, when I make myself switch it up, it's still just like a black bag or, you know, like slightly different. And so I said, hey, look for a mustard yellow purse for me because I want to bring that back into my life. I'd love to have like a cute one um, to add into the mix. So she is going to start sending me and started this time um, sending me mustard yellow purse options. And so um, that's really fun. You know, I have my little journeys for a while. I was like, I want to find a pair of jeans that I like. And now I'm like, I want to have a purse. Um, so yeah. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, so because of the new changes in how my um, Patreon and Facebook group are, I'm now doing what I call first looks. So I have actually already like held up the items and shown them to patrons who are, who are in the Facebook group. So if you're in the Facebook group, you know it's in my trunk. I haven't tried anything on. That's like the real like, ooh, when you get it on your body. Um, but if you like the idea of like being able to kind of see what I got, like, ooh, firsthand, you know, first looks, um, you can go ahead and join the Facebook group. And I think that's it. Let me stop yammering at you and uh, put some clothes on. Y'all, look at this top, look at this top. Okay, I'm kind of freaking out because I love it. <laughs> so um, this top is from Leith, L-E-I-T-H. It is a size 4X and I am in love. <laughs> so obviously it has some puffy sleeve going on here. Um, so it's a non-stretch material and Leith does this a lot. They make like these little tops and non-stretch materials. And a lot of times I put them on and they kind of just barely fit. And especially like when I'm standing, I'm smaller. When I sit down, I expand. And so sometimes I'm like, well, this looks cute and is comfortable when I'm standing. But if I like, you know, sit down at all, it's like, <laughs> because it's not a stretch material. It's like, oh my God, I can't wear this. I'm going to like rip the seams, seams open. But to this one, they've done a fully smocked back. So it has so much room. I'm so excited. <laughs> I wish that they did this for all of their tops because it means that this is going to fit when I sit down, when I'm standing, like no problem. I'm really excited. So it's got, there's a lot of details here. So let's talk about it. Um, a nice V-neck and then down the front, they've done ruching. <laughs> So that's the first detail. They've ruched down the sleeve and also it's a puffed sleeve. So that is another detail. And then you have all the smocking in the back, another detail. And then on top of it, it's like this really bright pink tie-dye colorway. It is so cool. I really like it. It's a lot. Like it's not the most simple top. But I really like it. I really love the bright colors. I love, you know, like moving into spring and summer. Like I can totally see myself wearing this with like a skirt or um, I think it looks cute with jeans. Although y'all know I'm not going to be wear <laughs> wearing jeans. Um, she did send me these. These are from Not Your Daughter's Jeans. It's the Curves 360 line that Not Your Daughter's Jeans has. And so they have different lines. I don't like any other jeans from them except for the Curves 360 because they're like stretchier and less like <sighs> compressive. Um, Cause Not Your Daughter's Jeans has this whole thing about like making you look smaller, blah, 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 which I'm, I don't care, I'm not interested in. And so this line, um, it's just more comfortable for me. I just, like I don't like real denim because it doesn't like stretch and move and stuff. Especially when you have a body like mine that expands so much when you sit down. Um, you really need stuff to stretch with you and move with you or else it's really uncomfortable. So these are their slim straight jeans. Um, I think they're either a petite length or they're supposed to be like ankle pants. They are honestly still slightly long for me, <laughs> but not too bad. Like I wouldn't, I could just like do like one cuff, like not even like a full cuff, but just like fold up the bottom ones and it would be fine. Um, yeah, I mean, they fit great. I really like them. I don't know what you think. I'm not really a jeans person. I own a pair of dark denim jeans, and that's really all I need. Um, I'm surprised at how much I do actually like these. 
So I didn't, when I saw the wash, like, you know, it's just a lighter wash than I would usually go for, but um, I'm actually liking them. I just know me, and like, even though I like them in this moment, I just don't think, I don't reach for pants. I don't reach for pants. I don't reach for jeans. <laughs> and especially going into the hot time of year, I just don't think, um, I'm gonna look in the mirror. Yeah, I mean, I think it looks, I think they look really good on me. I like them a lot. Um, I think they look great with this shirt. Uh, I just don't need them, but it's good to know that like this cut and this size, like I enjoy. Um, the denim feels really soft. It's very stretchy, so that's uh, very appealing to me. <laughs> anyway, so here's my first little outfit, and um, this trunk is starting off on a very good note. I like both of these pieces quite a bit. Um, I'm really loving this top, so. Did I show you all the angles? I think I did. All right. I like don't want to take it off. It's so cute. <laughs> okay. Um, I have another top to throw on with these jeans and then it's dresses and shoes. Okay. Hello. <laughs> um, this top is really cute. This is from Eloquy. It is uh, a size 26, 28. It is this big square neckline. And honestly, the only negative I can find is that it's such a wide neckline that I feel like the shoulders are like gonna fall down. And like, because they're, if it were a regular shoulder, it might be okay, but because they're like a puffed shoulder with, it actually has like a um, extra support inside for the puff then it looks bad when it falls down. So I feel like, I don't know if that would stay. Like it needs little, um, if I keep this, I'll sew in little like bra keeper, you know, things on the inside so that it'll stay put. And that would actually totally fix the problem. So this is kind of a thin rib knit, almost a slinky material, if you know what that is. Um, yeah, I mean, it just is like a really cute, it's very simple, but like, I think the puff sleeves give it a little something extra. Yeah, like it's already moving. Um, I guess I just don't have wide enough shoulders or they just cut it so wide that it's hard to say. Anyway, it's very stretchy. Um, I have it just tucked in, but if you want to see it out to see the length there, that's how long it is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like it. Here's from the side. It's just, you know, if it's close to the body. So if you don't like that, if you like things to fit more loose, then this would not be the top for you. I think it's really cute. I can think of a ton of things that I would wear this with. I think this would look good. I mean, obviously, like with jeans, it looks cute. I think it would look good with all my, like, high-waisted skirts. I don't know. I really like it. I just wish it weren't long sleeve. So, I mean, you can always roll the sleeves up. Let's see what we think. I mean, if I really wanted to, I could have this tailored to just be short sleeves. But let's see what it looks like with kind of elbow length. Yeah, I mean, it looks great. So I would be much more likely to reach for this if it didn't have all that sleeve just because uh, it's, it's warming up. Yeah. Anyway, cute. I really like this. I wonder how much they want for it. They probably want more than I want to pay, <laughs> but we'll see. Um, okay, moving on. <laughs> okay. All right, so here's our first dress. This is from City Chic. It is a size 2X or 24, and if you're not familiar with City Chic, their sizes do run large. So while this is a 24, I would say that it fits like a 26. Um, and so, just giving you different angles. So really for them, that's why Kat will still include them in my trunk is because um, oftentimes their 24 fits me as long as the cut is kind of like this, like, you know, bigger at the bottom. So like an A-line or like a real fit and flare or a real flowy skirt is usually going to work for me because I'm smaller here and bigger here. This one is really pretty. Um, the fit is not the best. This is not a stretchy fabric at all. Um, and it's fitting tightly, like around my uh, natural waist and like my rib area. In fact, so it has these few buttons here. It's really hard to see, I know, because it's a dark background, but 
I'm getting a little bit of gapping right here. And so, I mean, I could easily fix that with a stitch, but it's just indicative of the tighter fit of this. It's not uncomfortable while I'm standing, but um, if I were to sit and then, you know, well, my body really expands here, which actually is fine. Like down here is actually not the problem for once. Um, but right here on my ribs, I think would be not the most comfortable. Um, I think that it looks good like, I don't think anyone would look at me and be like, oh my god, her dress is so tight. <laughs> um, but just like from a comfort perspective, I'm not a person that likes to be kind of squeezed or held in like that. So it's really pretty, but if I kept it, I just know that I wouldn't reach for it. Um, I do like the kind of petal sleeve. It's something a little different. Here's from the back. It does have a, oh, it's tucked in. <laughs> All right, there we go. Good thing I was wearing bike shorts. Okay, so it does have a little self belt tie here. Um, it's really pretty. I think it looks nice, but it also has a side zipper and it makes this whole side like more, um, I don't know, less flexible. Like on this side, it feels very comfortable, but on this side, like I can really feel that zipper and it's, it, I don't know, it's very distracting. Anyway, this is not the dress for me. I think that if it fit a little bit looser, then this zipper thing wouldn't be a problem. So I think if you're like maybe a true, like, like a 24, 26, this would be a good dress for you. If you're more like 26 or 26, 28, maybe not. Um, and if you have a large chest, this is not the dress for you. There's not a lot of room in here um, for a larger bust, so. Yeah, let's take it off. <laughs> All right, so here is the second dress. This is from Eloquie in a size 28. And I'm not really a fan of the fit of this dress. I like the material. I think it's pretty. I like the colors. Um, but the, the fit on this is bad. So it's a 28. It's fine down here. Like, I have enough room. Um, but up top, it's, like, really big. And then also... The sleeves are really big. I'm just gonna come and show you. So it has elastic here, and I think this is supposed to fit above the elbow, right? Which, and then like it's kind of poofy a little bit. It's got a little ruffle here. But the opening is really big, like even with the elastic, it's just like hanging, and so it goes down too far. Anyway, it doesn't look, <laughs> it's too, it's just too big up here and if I went down a size and it would be too small down here. So this is just not, it's not the dress for me and that's okay. Um, if you have a different proportion to your body, I think this would be a really good dress. Here's a dress where if you have a larger chest, there's a lot of room in here. Or if you are a person who has larger arms and that's um, a struggle for you, this would be a really good dress for you, even though it's not stretchy because it has like this kind of like puffy balloony sleeve. There's a ton of room in here, and so this might be a really nice option for you. Um, I could see this dress being kind of dressed down. I could also see it being dressed up, though, which is really cool. It's always nice to have those versatile pieces. Um, so not for me, but I definitely think this could look really nice on somebody else. Just a different um, body shape than me or different proportions. So, okay. Uh, I have one more dress left, and it's the one that I'm most excited about. I was saving the best for last. Okay, y'all, this dress is so good. It's so good. Okay, so this is from Eloqui, also in a size 28, but the fit is much better here because it is a true wrap dress, which means you have two really long uh, ties, this one goes through a hole here, comes out, wrap it around. If you've never used a true wrap dress, in the beginning you can take some figuring out, um, but it, then it's really easy once you get it. Um, but the reason I really like wrap dresses like that, this tag is killing me, um, is because it fits you even if your weight fluctuates, right? So um, I think most people, uh, I, I think I am like most people where your weight really fluctuates. So like speaking for myself, I can go up or down a size and that can be really problematic if you wear a lot of clothes that are like very structured not stretchy luckily i wear mostly you know stretchy things that are uh, forgiving of size changes but i love a wrap dress because if you lose weight it's still gonna fit if you gain weight it's still gonna fit you just adjust like how much you're wrapping um and how you know where you're tying it and then it's gonna fit which is so 
nice um, because then your clothes fit. <laughs> so this is a much better um, cut for me than that previous Eloquy dress. So here we have another kind of balloon puffy sleeve situation with uh, elastic, but this time the elastic is the right size. It is the perfect size for my arm actually. So it is actually stopping at the elbow, but it's not too tight, it's not digging in. So we get a nice full sleeve effect. It's not, you know, falling down my arm. And then here we've got the ties coming around and I have a really high natural waist. So the ties are just gonna wanna sit up this high. So I just go with it. Some people, if you have a lower natural waist, the ties are gonna sit a little bit lower, but this is where everything ends up on me. <laughs> so I just have to go with it. Um, the material is really pretty. It's like a, I don't know what this is, almost like a crepe a little bit. It's got a little bit of texture to it, um, but mostly on the back. So the, the top side is less textured, but it's not perfectly smooth. Anyway, it gives a little interest. It feels nice. I really like it. And then we've got this cute pattern all over. I'll show you a little closer in a moment. Um, so we've got a ruffle that comes down and then the hem is asymmetrical. And I'm sorry, I think that I have the camera a little high. Hopefully you can see. But basically right here is much longer than over here. And I think if I keep this, I'm gonna have to kind of hem that up a little bit because I'm on the shorter side and uh, it's a bit long for me. Um, but it, it's not a stretch material. I could do that myself. I wouldn't have to take it to the tailor. I just don't feel comfortable like trying to sew stretchy materials because it's it's much harder to me. But this I could easily fix um, to make it better for my particular height. So here's from the side. And the back. Yeah. So I love that it's got kind of that asymmetrical, well not kind of, I love that it has this asymmetrical hemline. I think it adds interest. I think the material's really pretty, so I'll come and show you so this print sorry the light is always so strange when I do this um, it's really pretty so it's a nice bright orange uh, with the dark background it's almost like some people might be like oh Halloween because it's black and orange but I don't immediately go Halloween with it like to me honestly like this would work kind of any time of year because the shade of orange is not like pumpkin orange, it's like closer to my like marigold, um, mustardy yellow. So I think that keeps it from being too Halloween-y. <laughs> anyway, I love it. I love this dress. It's so pretty. Oh, I think you could really wear this to like a nice occasion um, because the material is very nice. It almost has a sheen to it. So it makes it feel, you know, a little elevated. Um, but I also don't think it would have to be like a fancy occasion to wear this, which is nice. So again, versatility, dress it up, dress it down. I appreciate that. Um, okay. So I have three pairs of shoes, a purse and some jewelry to show you. So I think I'm going to just change back into my, uh, shirt that I was wearing in the beginning and, um, show you the rest of the stuff. Okay. Here is the first purse that she sent me on my journey to yellow handbag. Um, I can tell you right now that I'm not going to keep it. It's very cute, but it's not me. Um, I don't like structure. I need to give her more details. I don't like like really structured purses like this. Usually I'm more of like a slouchy um, bag or maybe structure is okay. Like if it were a circle, that would feel different to me. But just like this like little rectangle purse, it's not for me. But it is very cute. Um, this is from Topshop. Come closer so you can see. Um, it just has a little flap here and then inside is, you know, it's just a little, it's such a small purse. The um, handle is this gold chain with the same material at the top. So here is what it would look like. Little purses are very on trend right now. Um, I don't mind the size of it. I think it's really cute, it's just not for me, but perhaps it is for you. Okay, so this is the next thing. This is a trio of necklaces from Madewell. Um, and I don't know if you remember, but I did recently, here to show the, they're just simple. I picked these out to try them. Um, 
I recently purchased a necklace from Madewell. It is also um, gold and it has uh, little stars along it and I love it. I wear it a lot and I've really been wanting more gold necklaces to do layering looks with and so then I saw this which is a set of three necklaces. Now they are separate which is nice so that you can wear them individually. Um, I am not putting them on just because I'm really hot. The idea of like putting these necklaces on and off right now is very unappealing, but um, the smallest one just fits my neck, so I would have to use an extender with that one, um, but the other two I think would actually be okay, or if I wanted to, I could add just like a few jump rings in there, and luckily I make jewelry, so I have all this stuff. It's easy for me to throw in like some extra jump rings to make them a little longer, so when I look at jewelry, I don't um, kind of take points off if they're too short, a lot of necklaces, unless they're long necklaces, are going to be short on me. I have a bigger neck. I don't count that against them when I'm judging if I like a necklace or not, just because if I did that, I would have like very few necklace options for me. Um, so these are really cute. I don't remember how much they were, um, but I like them and I am interested in keeping them. It just depends on how much they are and like what else I decide to keep because I like, uh, I think I'm going to like things from this trunk and so anyway cute I like the just like simple look this is very much what I've been leaning towards lately so all right I have one more jewelry for you I like that I was like I have one more jewelry for you <laughs> all right so here is the last thing this is a trio of gold tone earrings from BP I can't actually see there's a price tag on it so I know in advance this is $35 um I'm not interested in this. I I guess I picked this, or maybe she threw it in because I put other gold jewelry in, but um, I don't feel particularly compelled to have these. And they're so simple that like a price tag of $35 is not like for this. No, I'll just go to Target if I want some gold hoops. So, um, But it's nice to see them in person. I will say they have a nice weight. They don't feel like as cheap as a lot of stuff that I've seen like at Target. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know. I don't need this. Okay, we're moving on to shoes. I have three pairs of shoes to show you and then that's it. So the first pair, um, I'm not gonna show you on my feet because I don't like them. <laughs> or I like them, but they, they're not comfortable. So here they are. It is this pair of espadrilles. These are from Rockport. And these are in a wide size. Um, let me put one down. So they're in a wide size. I actually did get my whole foot into them. So this is wide enough for me. Um, and this was big enough here. A lot of times like here's like where your instep is. A lot of times that is not big enough for me. So these did actually go on my feet, but they have this Velcro here. And I think, I don't know what's going on, but the shape of my leg or the width of my feet or something, this bottom part was like real down. And so when it went to put this on, it was like stretching weird. Anyway, it like made the straps to be misshapen. <sighs> Words are feeling really hard to me right now. <laughs> anyway, um, I don't think that I would ever wear these. They uh, go on my foot, which is very exciting because a lot of times cute shoes don't go on my feet. Uh, but I walked around for like 30 seconds and was like, oh my God, I have to take these off. Also, this one arrived, you see that stitch? So I would have to send these back if I wanted to keep them. I'd have to go ahead and send them back and get them exchanged for another one because they arrived damaged. Um, anyway, but if you are a person who likes something with a heel, if you like espadrilles but you have a wide feet, these went on my foot. Whereas most of this type of shoe would never go on my feet. So if you like them, check them out <laughs> is all I'm really trying to say. Okay, the next two pairs of shoes I'm going to actually show you on my feet. All right, so this is the first pair of shoes. These are flats in the shade Gunmetal from Hush Puppies. These are a size 10 wide, and see here I'm scooching my foot to the front, and there's a lot of room back here. So I think maybe a nine and a half would be a better size for me in these shoes. Um, so they are cushy. They have um, a non-removable insole, which I wish it was removable because then I could See, they're big. <laughs> then I could um, put my own insole in and there would be room. Um, but even if 
and we're going to wear them like this. It might actually be okay just because they do have some cushion, although the arch support is not what I would need it to be. So, yeah, I don't know. I like these, but I worry that they wouldn't be supportive and comfortable enough for my uh, high arches that I have, but I like them. They feel pretty comfortable now, although, you know, it's hard to tell until you actually wear them out. Okay, y'all. I don't know if you're ready for these shoes. <laughs> um, I'm really, I'm really excited. You ready? Here we go. Look at these shoes. OMG. I'm kind of dying. <laughs> so these are also from Hush Puppies and they are a calf hair that has been um, dyed in a leopard pattern. Has this little red detail in the back. So these also came with a pair of red laces in the box in case you wanted to switch them out to match the red at the back. Um, I don't even know what to say other than these are glorious and I love them. <laughs> and I think they're probably expensive, but I don't know. So I have been on a journey to find a pair of like kind of fashion-y sneakers to wear with dresses. And um, these are hella cute, y'all. They're comfortable, so they do have removable insoles, which is exciting because I could put my own insoles in there, which is very appealing. Um, these, I think she sent them to me in a 10, probably wide, I'm guessing, um, because they actually fit my feet. So, I don't know, I might be uh, keeping these, they're great. I don't know what else to say. They're wide enough, they're tall enough for my instep, the insoles are removable. They're super cute. I think these would look really cute with dresses. Um, and so far, you know, I mean, obviously I'm like just in my office, but so far they feel really comfortable. Anyway, um, geez Louise. I hope these aren't crazy expensive. <laughs> okay, I'm back and I have the price list. So um, I wanted to show you, I did actually try on the Madewell necklaces and as I thought the smallest one like just fits um, but the other two are totally a nice length. So this one I could just add like, you know, a few little jump rings to and it would be a nice size. Like it's not uncomfortable but I just feel like, let me try to, I feel like I get a hulk out of it, you know, if I like really tried hard enough. Anyway, oh, I think it's really pretty. I like it a lot. Um, yes, I'm afraid. So I have the prices here. And also I just, the website is loading on my computer because um, sometimes stuff is on sale. And so maybe something is on sale. Okay, so the note inside says, Hi, Laura, I hope you're having an amazing day and that this trunk finds you well. I love the fresh feel to this trunk and I think you will adore the style of each and every one of these pieces. I focus on versatile options that will be perfect for transitioning into the spring. I cannot wait to find out what you think of all of these amazing pieces. Your stylist, Kat. Well, Kat, you did a great fucking job. It's good. It's good. That was great and good in the same word. Um, yeah, I think this was a really good trunk. So here we go. Oh, here, it's loaded. And nothing is on sale. Of course, of course nothing is on sale. All right, well, we could dream. All right, um, <laughs> here are the prices. The chased ballet flat in a size 10 wide from Hush Puppies, $79.95. The Sabine sneaker in 10 wide in the leopard print is $99.95. The coin layered necklace from Madewell 48. Print wrap dress from Eloquy, which is the um, orange flowers all over, is $119.95. Floral puff sleeve side slit dress from Eloquy, that was the one that the fit was wrong for me, um, is $129.95. Jeez. The square neck top from Eloquy is $49.95. The Kyrie wedge sandal, 10 wide from Rockport, $99.95. Tie-dye smocked top from Leith, that was that very first top 
was that the first thing I tried on? Yes. Um, 49 set of three ball stud and hoop earrings from BP 35 candy boxy grab bag from Topshop the purse $40 compass coin pendant necklace. Oh, so I forgot to show you this. I got also this necklace. This is from the brand Gorgiana. Um, and it is a cute like compass. You, can you tell like the theme that I had going with these like little pendants? Anyway, I forgot about this until uh, just now. It's sitting here on my desk. Anyway, that is $60. Side slit slim straight jeans uh, in size 28. 119 which is the price their jeans always are botanical print dress from city chic 109 which is a very common price for city chic so overall this is a pricier trunk for sure i mean it is nordstrom this trunk is always more expensive than the other things um but do, 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 do. okay so the things that i like if i had all the money in the world that i would want to keep would be um well, maybe next month I'll try the ballet flats in a different size because I am interested in those. Okay, the sneaker. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the sneakers. Um, these. I really like these a lot. The print wrap dress. Okay, so sneakers, coin necklaces, print. Where'd it go? Print wrap dress, square neck top, tie-dyed smock top. The jeans just to have them for next year but I mean I'll take that away so six items I really liked so much of this <laughs> but six I'm like oh my god I really want to keep them today <sighs> Lord Burns I do not have the money for that I'm going to get a text I'm gonna check um, my account and see if I have any credit <gasps> Okay, so I haven't looked at my credit in a while, and I do have credit. I get to keep the sneakers, you guys. I'm going to keep those sneakers. Oh, my God. Okay, I did, um, between when I was showing them to you and now, I did go and get my actual insoles and put them in and walk around with them just to see, and um, it felt really comfortable. It felt really good, and so my only question is, like, what socks do you wear with shoes like that? Because my feet will get sweaty. But I, I was talking about this in the Facebook group. The, there is no low sock that stays on my heel. Even the ones that are like, we guarantee it'll stay on your heel. Um, I've tried all the ones that people normally would think of, the ones from the internet, the ones from the store. Like, I have tried them. I have, like, I've tried them, and they all slip down. So I don't know what kind of socks I could wear with those. Um, I'll have to play around. Oh, but I'm going to keep them. Oh, my God. <gasps> I'm so excited. Okay, so um, thank you to those of you who use my link. I have $98 uh, in credit, $98.69. So I must have had more and used it and just forgot. I have a very poor memory. Um, and so that basically covers the shoes. Oh my God. I am so excited. Thank you so much for using my <laughs> link. I might keep something else. <laughs> um, Oh my gosh. Is it terrible if I keep these necklaces? I just think they're so pretty and I've really been like wanting to do this. And I really love that Madewell necklace I got last time. It's so nice. Um, the quality is really good. I mean, it's not like, you know, fine jewelry, but for non fine jewelry, like the quality is so good on that one. So I would imagine it's the same for this. Like this feels the same, like nice. Like honestly, it feels nicer than, um, this Gorgiana necklace, which is more expensive. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, I think I might keep these necklaces. Y'all don't yell at me in the comments. It makes me happy. I'm going to do it. Oh my God. Okay. Well, now's the time where you tell me in the comments what you think. <laughs> so tell me what you would choose if you were me what you would choose if you were you, and then anything else that you want to say about this trunk. Oh my gosh, be nice to me. If you're like going to judge me for keeping these necklaces, please don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I hope that this was enjoyable for you, that it was entertaining. Um, I will link everything in the description box so if you liked any of this stuff. If you or like me and you like have to have these shoes they're in the description box like click on the link um what else 
Oh, I was gonna say, those shoes are a really good example of, she put them into my trunk in like a solid color, like whatever, some random color. Um, and I went in and saw that they were available in Leopard and chose them. I said, send these to me in Leopard and like, they're amazing. So this is a really good example of like being able to have that um, preview of the trunk where you can go in and change things. So anyway, um, this was amazing. I wish I had all the money in the world so I could keep all the things that I like, but um, man, I've been having really good boxes. My last Dia box was like a slam dunk. Uh, this one is really good. And so, yeah, I'm going to talk to her about um, kind of my preferences for purses and um, just more summery, spring, fun, lightweight uh, things coming up. So, all right, y'all. Thank you for watching. If you're still watching this, thank you. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much to the supporters who make it possible to create this content. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider joining Patreon, where for just $2 a month, you get access to our private Facebook group where I post behind the scenes videos, first looks at boxes and products I'm trying, and weekly live chats where we talk about literally anything. Your support means so much to me. Thank you for bringing your particular flavor of weirdo to our world of kind, compassionate folks. All the links will be in the description box below.